All right. Um, possible question one. I'm just talking about the the two plexi, the two the two plexes going to the GI tract. So, you know, myenteric controls the smooth muscle and submucosal is going to control um, mucus secretions. And don't forget that they're parasympathetic. Anything with the, with the um, digestive system is going to be parasympathetic. So that would be one, question one. thinking about this one. Let's skip it for now. So question one, skip peritoneum. I'm gonna work from the back to the front. Sorry, let me just go the other way. Okay, so definitely this. This is definitely one of the questions that that I can possibly pick. The the phases of digestion. I know it's a kind of a big one too. There's three of them. You don't have to get every word. Cause I know like that looks like a whole lot of stuff, you know, but um, you know, in the gastric phase. Things are getting stretched out, and what does that cause? And then the intestinal phase, same things. things. Things are getting stretched out. You know, what's the result of that? So, yes, we'll call this question one. So this is the first question. You know, uh, describe the phases of digestion. <laughs> Okay, question two, I'm going to ask you what is the, what's the function of the small intestine and how is it, how is the small intestine adapted to perform that function? So what is it about the small intestine that it can absorb nutrients, right? And so I've already listed it down here. Um, you have villi and microvilli, both of those are going to vastly increase the surface area available for them. And then the circular folds uh, force the chyme, you know, they, these things force the chyme to go in a circular, they force the chyme to spiral through the intestine so that all the, the intestine gets to absorb stuff. So it's pretty much those three things. So that's um, question two. Three is going to be about enzymes, and there's a lot of enzymes here. We've got six, and then if you look at pepsin, that's seven, and then you have these three brush border enzymes, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Eight, nine, ten. So you've got six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'd like you to know okay, why didn't I talk about these two here? Because they're up here. I'd like you to know the enzyme and what is the substrate that they work on. So you know, these all work on proteins, amylase is starch, lipase is lipids. I mean, what you could do is 
learn the substrate for the ones that are not proteins. And then if you don't know, and then the other ones are just proteins. So it's pretty much, um, you have amylase, lipase, and then you've got these three here that are all for carbohydrates. So this is carbohydrate. Amylase is carbohydrate. Lipase is lipids. The rest of them are proteins. I might ask something like, you know, name the name the the, the enzymes dealing with proteins and where are they made? Right? So if I did something like that, you would name these four and pepsin. So you would name five. And you would say that pepsin is made by the stomach, trypsin, chymotrypsin, they're made by the pancreas. But I could say it another way. I could say name the, en the enzymes dealing with carbohydrates and where are they made. In that case, amylase deals with carbohydrates because that's starch. And so do these three, maltase, sucrase, lactase. And, and they're made by the brush border. Brush border or the microvilli, same thing. So you could say microvilli if you want. So that's question three, the, the enzymes. Question four, the cells of the stomach, and they're listed right here. Um, you could just put four, right? So mucus, mucus cells, you just put it by itself, mucus cells. Parietal cells make the acid, hydrochloric acid. Chief cells make pepsinogen, and G cells make gastrin. Where are we at? There we go. All right, one, two, and three. Cells of the stomach are four. Okay. This would be, I guess, question five, and it looks a little bit easier. What's the, just like the intestine, what's the function of the intestine and how is it adapted to perform that function? Same thing with the stomach. What's the function of the stomach and how is it adapted to perform that function? Like, what are features about the stomach that make it liquefy, liquefy your food? And I put, I put it here. Instead of having two layers of smooth muscle, it has an, an extra third layer, the oblique or diagonal layer of muscle. So it's got longitudinal, circular, and diagonal. And it produces hydrochloric acid. And that's really what makes a stomach different from the other parts of your GI tract. That was five. And that's quiet, huh? Um, thinking. Uh, 
Um, and this will be the, the, for this chapter, the last one, deglutition, swallowing. Looks like it's more than it is. You know, you, you, you push the food to the back of your mouth. There's receptors there that go to the medulla oblongata. Medulla oblongata comes back, sends signals back, and you're doing three things. You're stimulating the saliva. Well, I mean, yeah, three things. You're stimulating the 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 um, uvula. You're stimulating the epiglottis. That's in the pharyngeal stage, and then down in the esophagus, you're stimulating the muscle, the smooth muscle. So then you get peristalsis. You know, which is the contraction, the alternating contraction of the longitudinal and circular muscle. So to swallow, food gets pushed to the back of the throat. Receptors go to the medulla oblongata. Then the returning impulses activate the uvula. That's going to block your nasal passages. Activate the epiglottis. That's going to um, block your trachea and start making the muscles smooth muscle in your esophagus go so that's uh question six so that will be it for the i'm not going to take that one out i'll take this one out too so we got six questions for the digestive system so one two Three, three, four, five. Five, which I passed somewhere. Oh, that's five. And This is six. Because um, you got any questions on those? All right, everyone's still there. Okay. Here's the urinary. So this would be set. Question seven, function of kidneys, right there. Regulate these ions and regulate the blood pH and volume. Of course, you know by regulating volume, you're gonna regulate blood pressure as well, but, and then excretion of waste, function of the kidney. this means HCO3 minus whatever bicarbonate we call these protons but that's just so function of the kidneys that's uh, seven question seven Yeah, this is um, eight right here. Question eight, um, which I have no idea how I'm going to ask this. Um, describe the process by where, I don't know. I don't know. Describe the process by where uh, filtrate is made from blood in the kidneys. Describe basic, maybe I'll say describe basic renal physiology. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to ask it. Describe, let's see. Okay, 
Describe the three um, Describe the three processes by which urine is made in the nephron. That might sound the best. See, I forgot what number we're on now. Um, I think this is seven. Six, seven, eight. So this one's eight. That's the same slide as this. Eight. This is nine. That's question nine there. Um, the pressures. You know, what's the what's the pressure on the nephron in the kidney? So 55 from the hydrostatic pressure from the heart. Then you subtract out 30 for um, the capsular pressure. The, the, I'm 15 for the capsular pressure. You know, the pressure of going through this, this, this round thing, you know, the, the cap, this is, this is the capsule, glomerular capsule. To bust through this takes away some of that pressure. So it takes away 15. And then there's inside this blood, there are proteins like albumin, blood colloid osmotic pressure. That's going to subtract 30. So there's this blood pressure has 55 in it. So it's pressurized. That's going to make the water leave. But there's albumin and stuff in this blood, blood colloid osmotic pressure. So you're going to subtract 30 for that. And then busting through this capsule right here, that's another 15. So that one is... Question nine. I gotta stop doing this. Six for the there, seven, yeah, eight, nine. Yes, that was nine. This is 10. That's the last one too, this is 10. Three electrolytes, what are they, what do they do? And I would like you to know the rough lab um, equivalents or the, yeah, I mean, I, I like you to know the, the, in this case, the numbers doesn't have to be exact. You don't have to say 136 to 148. You could just say like 140, you know, chloride, 100. Um, potassium, around four. You know, so pass potassium is used in repolarization. The sodium is used in, um, it's used in depolarization, but it's, you know, it's used in the action potentials that moves water around the body. Anyway, so that'd be 10. Um, I'm going to pick five. So I'll take five questions from here, and then I will take... 10 questions from um, the study guide. And those I'm gonna cut and paste. I haven't made the test yet. I, mean, I, fi I figured none of you would try to take it at this point, so. But I'm gonna make it now because I know someone's gonna take it, one person's gonna take it in the next. I'm sorry. Hour. I have a question. I came in late. So the questions that you just went over, that's not the questions that's not that's on the study guide. Those are not on the study guide. Correct. Okay. So the so, questions on the study guide, study those two and the the nine, ten questions that you just gave us. Yeah. So I'm taking five questions from this stuff that we've talked about. So in total, we have 42 questions to study for, and we're only going to have 15 on the test. Yeah. Okay. I know. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's a lot. Right. Okay. The rest of those questions you've answered before. Right. So the, the answers are in your old test. 
if you don't if you don't know them. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Just tell yourself you know what the questions are. I've told you what the questions are. It's just the problem of which one I'm going to pick. But if you write them out and study from that, then it's just I'm, I'm picking some of them. So there's going to be no surprises. You guys will you'll make it. All right. Um, does anyone else have any questions? Oh, that was a quick one. I'm going to stop sharing. If you guys want to at any time um, meet to go over questions, that's that's fine. <laughs>